Well, to close out 2019, we are looking back at BZ's best, some of the most memorable stories that we covered this year. And last spring, you may remember, a young man from Blackstone, paralyzed as a child, got out of his wheelchair to accept his high school diploma. WBZ's Christina Rex brings us his story. It's a big moment for any high school senior. Ashley Elizabeth Back, honors. The walk to receive your diploma. It's a tribute to four years of hard work. But if you're Bradley Gignac, it's 16 years of hard work. Bradley Matthew Gignac. And a walk that means so much more. His classmates usually see him in a wheelchair, but Bradley was determined to walk like everyone else to get his diploma. We never thought we'd be at this moment because they actually didn't think he'd pull through. So this is really a miracle. I mean, you know, you just don't give up hope. This is the last picture father and son took together. In 2003, a jet ski accident injured Bradley and killed his dad, Kevin. First thing Bradley said when he woke up this morning was, um, yeah. oh, I'm lucky for my dad today. <laughs> Bradley is paralyzed and has a traumatic brain injury, but his dad is always close to his heart. So what did you do it for? My dad. The high school graduate all smiles. His grad cap with the number 32 for his dad's old fire engine and the words he lives by. Every adventure requires a first step. Let's go, Bradley! In Blackstone, Christina Rex, WBZ News.